start off with the layoffs, guys. Amazon, guess what? Laying off 18,000 employees. Amazon told staff it's cutting 18,000 rows, the largest layoff in the company's history. They're even talking about Jeff Bezos coming back at this point in time. Why are these layoffs happening, guys? Why are these layoffs happening? Well, let's talk about it. For all the layoffs that swept the corporate America in the final months of 2022, this month is posed to bring even more. January is the month where most layoffs happen, okay? According to US government data, January is the month where most layoffs typically happen. Now, why, you may ask? Well, the reason is because most companies work on a calendar year. So it's a time for them to reset their budgets, think about their budgets and so forth. And just like we do going into a new year with new goals and resolutions and so forth, we wake up and say, you know what? Starting January, we're going to go to the gym. Starting January, we're going to lose 20 pounds. Companies do the exact same thing. Leaders of companies do the exact same thing. So if you guys are thinking about going into tech, know that January from a political and a news standpoint, it's going to look ugly. It's going to make you have fear and doubt that you shouldn't be getting into tech. Know why it's happening and continue to march towards getting into tech. This information that I'm bringing to you is to not scare you. It's to tell you why it's happening. Amazon announced 18,000 employees are going to be laid off. Okay. The largest layoff in company's history. What's up, Ladder Climbers? It's Antoine Wade. I wanted to interrupt this video to talk to you guys about Course Careers. Course Careers is the place that you guys need to go if you have a high interest into tech sales. They will help you gain the skills that you need so that you can enter the tech sales world to make a whole bunch of money. Tech sales salaries early on is about $60,000, guys. That's a good salary. And with OTEs, you can make anywhere from $85 to $90,000. If you have an interest in tech sales, check out Course Careers, link in the description. And don't forget to use Antoine50 so that you can get a $50 discount off of Course Careers. See you guys in tech sales. Also, the real estate brokerage company Compass is letting employees know that they will be conducting a third round of layoffs as well. That's going to reduce their workforce by 8%. Salesforce said this week as well that they're going to do another 10% cut in their workforce. Okay. New year, new headcount. There are many reasons why January tends to be a popular month for layoffs. It's practical. January 1st marks the beginning of a new financial year for most companies. And so tax-wise, it makes sense for companies to make adjustments to their budgets and reduce the labor costs, okay? It's also when employers are asking themselves, what are we doing this year? What's not going well? Can we change this or restructure that? No different than you going into the new year with goals for your 2023. Companies do the exact same thing, okay? It looks like it's going to be a bad outlook. When you hear companies like Amazon, Salesforce, Compass saying they're going to be laying off more of their employees, first thing that people come, the first thing that comes to people's mind is, oh my God, am I going to get into tech? Should I make the transition? Should I sit still? No, continue the transition. Continue the transition, get into tech, learn those skills. Because the workforce these days, because of COVID, became bloated, bloated. If you think about our December job and labor report, the economy added 200 and 33,000 jobs in December. This was topping what economists expected. So for 2022, the U.S. added 4.5 million jobs, one of the strongest ever annual showings they're seeing. Okay, So the job market is still hot. The job market is still hot. Maybe in certain tech companies, because of their fast growth, they're laying off. You think about Salesforce, they grew very fast. Amazon, they grew very fast. Compass, they grew very fast. Now they're saying, mm, revenues are slowing, labor costs are high. Let's get rid of some of that. We have bought all these offices to have all these people in it. Let's reduce that. Let's get rid of that, okay? That's what companies are doing. Get used to it. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And companies, you gotta know that when a company like Salesforce or Stitch Fix or Lyft or Snap announced layoffs and they announced them last year, you have to remember also that that may not be the first round of layoffs that's going to happen. And the first round isn't always the deepest either. Typically, it's the last round that's the deepest, okay? But Amazon could do 18,000 rows right now and come back in April and do another 10,000, eliminating a good 28,000 of their workforce. It still shouldn't scare you though, okay? It shouldn't scare you at all. But I want you to know why companies are doing it so that you are fully aware 
and know what to expect. Now, these people are going to be in a job market. And we talked about this last week. What are the things that you need to do in order for you to compete? Skills, prove your soft skills, network, look for jobs outside of the U.S. as well. Okay. You do those things, you'll be able to compete. If you're coming out of college, you got to be pretty creative. You should be working, proving your skills in college, internships, even if you have to volunteer to get skills so that you can compete with the individuals who've been working at some of these top companies. You need to do it. Look at under other industries as well. Many people now are thinking that, you know, technology is just with technology companies. No, technology is with every company now. You could be in healthcare working in a technology role. You can be in automotive working in a technical role or in a technical space. You could be in oil and gas working in a technical space. A lot of these people who are let go are going to other industries in technical roles. So don't just look at the tech companies like Amazon's and so forth, when you're looking at your transition, look at other companies as well too, who may not be in a technical space. They may be pharmaceuticals, but guess what? They rely on technology. They may be an airline like Southwest, Delta, United Airlines, but they have technical roles. They may be a media company like Disney, ESPN and so forth, but they have technical roles. So when you're looking at transitioning to tech, consider it all, consider it all. And as these layoffs continue to happen, don't be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid. If you get laid off, go back and watch some of the videos, book a coaching session so that you can bounce back relatively fast. It can happen. But the goal is for you to bounce back fast, okay?